Hi, I'm Maria and welcome to the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience at their global headquarters here in Hinckley in the UK. And we're here today to reveal the new generation of Triumph's modern classic performance icon, the Speed Twin. So let's start. And here it is, the 2021 Speed Twin, ridden in by my co-host for today's reveal, BT Sports Moto2 presenter and major Triumph fan, Michael Laverty. Hi, Michael. I guess that was you in the film earlier. It looked like you were having loads of fun. Hey, Maria, great to see you. Yes, indeed, that was me, and what a lot of fun it was getting to see what this bike is capable of. Thanks, Michael. Now, back to the job in hand. We're both very excited to be your host for the launch today and to be able to share with you with help from some of the Triumph team, just what makes this new generation Speed Twin so special. From its performance update, its higher specification suspension, brakes and tires, enhanced technology, and even more premium style. And to kick us off, earlier today, I caught up with Triumph's Chief Product Officer, Steve Sargent, to find out what's new in terms of power and performance. Hi Steve, thanks for joining us. Yeah, hi Michael, it's nice to see you again. So Steve, in my mind, this is the bike that truly combines the best of the iconic style and design of a Bonneville with the performance and handling we expect of a modern Triumph. Exactly that. It's a bike that allows you to enjoy a fast ride when you feel like it, and also it's a bike that attracts a lot of admirers when you park it up. So let's talk about the new engine. What are the changes for this year? Well. The twin cylinder speed twin engine has a reputation for delivering large amounts of torque and for being really responsive throughout the rev range. And our focus has been on improving that performance. Okay, so tell us all about it. Well, first up, the engine has had a lot of development, which includes a new low inertia crank and rare earth alternator, alongside new high compression pistons with revised ports and cam profile. We've got a higher peak power number with 100 PS at 7,250 RPM, now that's 3 PS up, and we've also got more power across the mid-range. Now, in regards to the torque, which of course is where the Speed Twin really excels, this is also stronger in the mid-range for the new generation, with peak torque coming more than 500 RPM lower down the revs. Now, what you get as a result is not only higher performance, but also an engine that spins up faster and is much more responsive, which comes from a 17% reduction in inertia. And also, the update means the engine revs harder for longer with a red line that's now 500 RPM higher than the previous Speed Twin. Now for me, whilst the numbers matter, one of the reasons that this bike has been so successful is the way that it delivers its power and what it feels like to ride. And with this new generation, we have focused on enhancing the performance whilst maintaining all of that British twin character to give you a truly exciting bike to ride. Now, in addition, the engine is now fully compliant with the Euro 5 legislation, which has got reduced emissions. And on top of that, you also get Triumph's very high first major service interval of 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers, and a two year unlimited mileage warranty, which really reflects the reliability and the great low cost of ownership that the Speed Twin represents. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Michael. Now, as you know, I rode this new generation earlier, and it certainly feels like a great update to me. However, for a more informed opinion, I think we need to speak to my co-writer from the opening film, test and development writer, Billy McConnell, a former British Supersport champion, which of course he won riding a Triumph Daytona. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy McConnell. Hey, Billy. Hey, Michael. It's great to see you again. So I understand you've played a part in the development of the new Speed Twin. Yes, indeed, Michael. I've been lucky enough to be one of the development test riders and we have put some serious miles on this bike. So Steve was just telling us about the performance upgrades. I presume you rode the previous generation as well. Can you tell the difference? Absolutely. The best thing about the Speed Twin is the torque and the torque all the way through the rev range, which is fantastic, especially when powering through sweeping bends. With the new bike, you get more at the top end. But for me, it's the way the throttle responds and that torque in the mid-range where this thing flies. And with the chassis upgrades, the new spec and the new tyres, the ride is right up there. Thanks, Billy. I guess we'll be seeing you on track this season in the British Superstock Championship. How's that going? 
That's right, Michael. I'm riding for the Rich Energy OMG team. Testing's been going really well, but we're most importantly, looking forward to getting back racing in the June. Thanks, Bill. Great to have you here. Appreciate everything. Thanks, Michael. Good to see you again. So now we've heard all about the engine. Let's hear about the chassis updates for 2021. And here to give us the new specifications is Stuart Wood, Triumph Chief Engineer. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Maria. Thank you for joining us. Now, I rode the first generation of this bike when it was launched a couple of years ago. And remember a lot of the bike media being really impressed with the handling. Our plan when we first launched the Speed Twin was to be the leader in the modern classic roadster category for its handling. The response from the customers has been fantastic. They really appreciate its confidence inspiring, easy riding, neutral setup, but also how dynamic and agile the Speed Twin is when you're riding with more intent. Now for the new generation, we wanted to build on all of that, but take the bike to the next level in terms of handling performance. So what exactly have you done to this new generation, Stu? Well, for 2021, we've raised the specification significantly. The Speed Twin has new Mazzocchi upside down front forks with cartridge damping and 120 millimeters travel. This really complements the preload adjustable twin RSUs. We've also enhanced the braking performance with new Brembo four piston M50 radial monoblock calipers on the front with twin 320 millimeter floating Brembo discs. And there are higher specification tires as well with the new Metzler Racetech RRs which give really great grip and high speed stability fitted to these new lightweight 17 inch cast aluminium wheels. Now together with its Torxxus clutch, the accessible low 809 millimeter seat height and its upright riding position, this gives the Speed Twins really easy, comfortable and engaged ride. And now with this new generation and its enhanced geometry and specification makes this even more agile, precise and dynamic. So what about the technology specifications? Well, this is another area where the Speed Twin stands out versus the competition in regards to features for rider confidence and safety, and also for how these are really well integrated into the design in a way that keeps that beautiful, clean look. First, we have enhanced the riding modes for 2021. They now have a dedicated throttle map and traction control setting for each mode, road, rain, or sport. The rider can change the mode at the touch of a button to suit the conditions. We also have ABS and switchable traction control where the traction control can be turned off via the instrument menu. We have an LED daytime running light, depending on the legislation of the country you're in, which is integrated into the headlight and gives you a really distinctive look. Plus, we also have an LED rear light and LED indicators. Along with these, there are several useful additional features, such as a USB charging socket, which is under the seat, and also an immobilizer which adds a greater level of security. And with the Speed Twins accessory range, you can also add heated grips and tire pressure monitoring system. Thank you, Stuart. That sounds like a lot of work has been done, particularly with the suspension and handling. Okay, so to go a little deeper into the new generation's handling setup, we're now going to talk to Felipe Lopez, Triumph's lead chassis development rider based at Triumph's facility in Spain. Hi Felipe, thank you for joining us. Hello Maria. So Felipe, can you start by telling us first what the original brief was for the Speed Twin? Our ambition with the, with the first generation of the Speed Twin was to create a new concept, bridge the gap between a Speed Triple and uh, the Street Twin in terms of performance, riding experience, but also making a beautiful modern look. So we use um, the Truxton as a start point. We, we made some ergonomic modification to make it feel more like a speed triple with uh, the same handlebars and similar foot reposition, a bench seat, making the bike feel lighter, more agile with lighter aluminum cast wheel and this, combining with the new engine on the Truxton, was the perfect start point for, to achieve what we were looking for. Now, with this new generation, what was your ambition? This is a new step forward, making the bike even better, 
moving to a high specification level with a better suspension, better brake, a better engine, and uh, lighter wheels, making the bike feel even lighter and more agile. And what do you personally feel about the result with the new model? Oh, the result is fantastic. I think the, the customer is going to love it. Thank you very much, Felipe. Thank you very much. So, now let's go back to Michael, who earlier today met up with Miles Perkins, Triumph's Head of Brand Management, to hear about the updates to the Speed Twins design and the accessories you can get with it. Hi Miles, thanks for joining us to talk about the design of the new Speed Twin, which to me is a great looking bike. Hi Michael, yes indeed. For me, this combines that classic Triumph silhouette with a much more stripped back modern custom style. Plus, of course, you get the Bonneville family's premium quality of finishing detailing as well. Now, am I right that the Speed Twin is quite a historic name for Triumph? Absolutely. The original was the world's first successful production parallel twin, pretty much changed the face of motorcycling in the early 1940s, as it was quite a revolution for its handling and its performance, plus had a very distinctive style, which I think this stunning supercharged Speed Twin Brooklyn's racer that actually still holds the lap record that's behind us here does a very good job of showcasing. Now in the modern era, of course, today's Speed Twin picks up that handling and performance balance, and for me, really encapsulates that muscular Triumph Roadster presence with a really beautiful look and a class leading level of finish, which is definitely one of the reasons the bike has become such a customer favorite. Now, for me, the more you look at it, the more its lovely design touches stand out, such as this classic Monza fuel cap. You have the handlebar clamp badge. You've got clear anodized swing arm on the bike. You've got the bench seat, a very classic silhouette look, and also the minimal bar and mirrors. Plus, you have these brushed aluminium mudguards, very minimal rear and front, and also the Speed Twin sculpted side panels, which come with the aluminium badge detailing. So Miles, tell us what's new for 2021 on the bike? Okay, well, just like the performance handling and technology, Michael, for the new generation, there's been an update to the style and detailing as well. First up, we have the new 12-spoke wheel design that's on the bike. We also have the new twin sport silencer setup, which now has a brushed stainless steel finish and also the black end caps. Now with the exhaust, that I think is another great example of the effort that goes in to keep everything clean and elegant on the modern Bonneville family, which the Speed Twin, of course, really exemplifies which actually hides the cap box under the bike, whilst keeping a completely clean and flowing single pipe look. Now coming back to what's new, we've also got new detailing with the anodized headlight mounts and also the new mudguard mount. And of course, you've got new contemporary graphics, which come hand in hand with three color schemes for 2021. You have this, the red hopper paint scheme, which has got a really rich and lustrous color. We've also got a matte storm gray with orchid yellow detailing and of course, a classic jet black being a Triumph. Now Triumph have become quite well known for their accessory range. In fact, we've got a bike here fitted with some of the key pieces that are on offer. Miles, can you tell us what's available for the Speed Twin? Absolutely, Michael. When we take a look at what's on this bike here, this showcases a few of the 50 plus accessories that you can order and fit with your Triumph dealer for the Speed Twin. Now this includes accessories to add more style, more luggage, more practicality and security. Now, some of the key pieces that I think riders would be most interested in will be the multifunctional LED indicators. We have a machined headlight bezel. We've got a black pressed sump guard and also a radiator grill. Uh, we've also got this quilted seat. You can also add um, classic Triumph knee plaids if you want. Also front billet reservoirs and also these alternative round bar end mirrors. And then for practicality, we've got this black nylon tank bag. You can also add adjustable levers to the bike. And also, as I think Stuart's already mentioned, you've got the option to add heated grips and also a tire pressure monitoring system. And then finally, to protect your pride and joy, there's lots of security options available as well, which for this bike includes, of course, locks, engine protection cover, dresser bars, and also an alarm and a tracker system, depending on where, you're, where you are in the world. Now being Triumph designed, these all, of course, come with the same two-year warranty that the bikes do. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Michael.
Well, we've both had a great day here at Hinkley, but I'm very envious. You got to ride the bike and I didn't. <laughs> Sorry about that, Maria. I've had a fantastic time. I've thoroughly enjoyed meeting the team and of course, getting to ride this bike. So there you have it. The new 2021 Speed Twin Triumph's performance icon with an evolution in every dimension, higher performance, better handling, enhanced technology, and even more beautiful style and detailing. I'd like to thank the Triumph team, my co-presenter, Michael, and for you all watching, for joining us here at the Triumph factory. We really look forward to seeing you all again soon. Ride safe, everyone.